hello guys welcome back to diy with tech b so currently we have 17 subscribers for our channel so thanks a lot for the love and support so as you can see i have uploaded a video on kinetic typography like a two videos uh, back so a person called dustin has commented that he would really love to see how i did that so yeah so this tutorial is just for just because we have just 17 subscribers and those subscribers are important for me that they learn everything what i do so yeah this is the working file which i have in canva for that video and it's almost uh, 78 pages to create that video so i'll just take you through all the animations which i did one by one so i'll just put the first what if one. your words didn't so just sit there didn't just sit there so let's see how i did this particular animation so I'm just opening a white canvas and making it a black and I'm just typing my first word and the font which I want to use. So I'm just placing it at the center and duplicating the next word. So make sure you have two spaces typed before the word so that you can actually hide it within the frame and it won't disappear. So I'm just hiding the second letter in my first frame, duplicating it and I'm just moving the word to the left and bringing in the hydro word in the second slide so it's just a sort of you know hide and seek you can just hide your next word in the previous slide and reveal it in the next slide so i'm just typing in my next word with two spaces in the left and i'm hiding it and i'm duplicating the pages and i'm bringing in the word again i'm duplicating it and i'm typing the next word so this is a little bigger so I'm just hiding it and I'm duplicating it. So now I'm selecting all these, moving it a little up and bringing the word inside. So make sure you don't delete any words from the previous um, slide so that you know the animation won't work if you delete. You can just reduce or increase the size and you can move it and rotate. So I'm just typing in my next word again. In the next slide, I'm just rotating it, it like this and bringing in my hide and Just typing my next word, you can make it as white. Yeah. I'm hiding it, duplicating it, revealing it. So this is the process. So what I'm going to do is give match and move for all the slides and the duration can be 0.5 seconds. You can play around this uh, timing so based on the speed of pronunciations or your audio has. That's it. Let's go for the next one. So I'm taking a white canvas for this. I'm going to add a shape, black shape. I'm just filling it with black so I'm just expanding it until it reaches half of the canvas just like that and next I'm going to add two text sit and there let me make it as white for better visibility yeah and I'm just copying it and typing there you can see it actually but you can place it equal so I'm just moving the box to the left I'm duplicating the slide and I'm just expanding it halfway through the canvas just like we placed before. Again I'm duplicating it and I'm taking it back. And I'm going to bring in another black box for the right side. Duplicating it and bringing it inside. Duplicate it and taking that back. So I'm going to give a match and move transition for this again. I'm just giving it one by one so that if I give apply to all pages, the previous ones will get affected. So I don't want that. So I'm just playing it. That's it. So we'll go for the next one. It's really easy. Just go to apps and type motion type. Take that first app and here you can see this just you can type your desired word and the app automatically does the animation for you you can play around the specifications mentioned below 
but I'm just you know quickly showing how I did that so that's it you get this animation and for the next one I just used this and I'm just writing it and I'm just using the text I need and yeah here we go let's go for this animation feel something it's really easy just take a blank uh, canvas again and instead of you know continuously typing the whole word I'm just you know typing it letter by letter this is a time consuming process so that I'm just you know speeding up the video a little bit so to save more time so you just copy it and type the other word copy it and type the other letter sorry so you can align it very easily so for now I'm just you know randomly placing everything in a line I'm going to position and you know you can click horizontally and tidy up you get the straight line so I'm just going to separate the something to the right and I'm going to animate it with wiggle animation keeping the intensity very less so that it looks smooth you can play around all the animations and you can use whatever you want but this is what I used so this is how it looks let's go for the next one that's the power off so this one is the same technique which I used in the first slide let's go for this kinetic typography effect I mean the animation so I'm going to take a black uh, canvas again just I'm going to type kinetic typography and for the font and in the effect okay before that I'm just going to uh, make it with the hollow effect and I'm going to copy it all the way down to the page so I'm going to tidy it up again and in the first slide what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the first line alone with a neon effect and in the second slide I'm going to highlight the second line alone and bringing the first line back to the normal hollow so I'm going to follow this step for the whole five lines continuously and I'll speed up the process so as you can see you you will highlight one line for each page and the same match and move I'm going to give with a full duration and I'm going to make it them a little small in duration so that the effect looks cool let's see yeah just like that we'll go for the next one oh actually the clip where I showed the preview has been has been cut out so let's see how so this is the same method which we use for the feel something part you know just type each letter and duplicate it and in the next slide I'm just going to scatter all the letters aesthetically to be exact you know like a circle I'm just typing the next part of the word to the center and I'm going to give a good animation for that kind of like it blasts from inside so that you know the letters gets scattered away so let's see how it looks okay it looks so um, static we can also you know animate the words here with the same wiggle effect and let's see how the output is don't miss any letters make sure you animate all the letters and let's see how it looks cool right now let's let's move for the next three parts fast smooth and eye catching so I'm taking a blank canvas and typing fast with my Anton font and I'm going to type three spaces and like I'm going to repeat the same word a little bigger and I'm going to give a hollow effect and reduce the thickness make sure it's all in one line and make sure you copy one more of it so that one comes from right to left and the other goes from left to right just like that so place both on both sides top and bottom and I'm going to animate with 
with a custom animation hold shift on your keyboard and just move the top line from right to left you can adjust the movement type to steady and you know you can adjust the speed as well and you repeat the same for the bottom one and you can adjust the speed and the movement so make sure both the lines are moving at the same speed and I'm going to repeat the word again for the center part and I'm just going to give a good animation for that maybe spread there is it yeah this so let's see how it goes so this is how it goes I think it's not exactly the same which I did in the video but it's a similar version and next is smooth just type it with the font and keep it in the position go to elements and search white line and expand it so until it covers up the length of the word so I'm just placing it like this for the first slide and then duplicating it and in the second slide I'm going to rotate it both the line and the word a little like this and under the custom animation I'm just going to move it if you don't like it you can delete it and you can do it anytime again so make sure it's smooth and at a good speed so you match and move and let's see how it goes yeah the more number of slides you have for a particular animation the better it will be I'm just you know teaching the basics for what you can do so that you can you know, be creative and explore whatever you want and for the next eye catching I just typed the word and placed it at the center I'm going to search a red line and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees and placing it to the right so now what I'm going to do is after positioning it I'm just going to shape and choose a rectangle or a square maybe and I'm just going to expand it until it covers the whole length of the word so you can see like this and I'm going to make it to white and I'm going to join it with the line and group them together and I'm going to bring this line and rectangle to the top so that it hides the word so I'm just going to hide it and with the custom animation as I said before I hold my shift and move it to the right you can also use the typewriter animation for the eye catching word so that it looks it actually looks like you're typing it and these are normal um, slide by slide words so there is no particular animation for this and for this animation band symbol in the previous slide I just enlarged that element as you can see how big it is I just hided it like this from the frame and in the next slide I just resized it to fit inside the screen and I gave match and move so that it joins like this and for the next trailers I just made uh, a movie effect and for this goosebumps I just made a custom animation like this and it goes like this and for this slicing animation I just copied the same word twice and I just cropped the bottom half for the upper word and top half for the bottom word and I merged it as a single word as you can see I'm just merging it and I placed a small text so small behind that and in the next slide I just enlarged it and moved those words to the top and bottom and with a match and move you get the sliced effect and these are normal uh, elements which I used everything and this is just with this spread effect I did just canva and a little creativity I just typed and a little creativity continuously in the four slides and the last slide I just reduced the size of the little little and this is a normal animation which I showed in the first slide so yeah this is how I did so you can I have speeded up this video a little you can even reduce it and so if you like this video please like subscribe and comment if you need to improve anything bye